So we're going to get started here, and once again, my name is Kerry Miller. We have an absolute full house tonight, and I appreciate everybody coming out. Uh, we're going to be sharing our reputation management system with you tonight, the reputation checker. I've got a very special call uh, with, uh, there you go, Steve Kerry's in the house. That's right, buddy. Uh, I've got a very special call with Roger Panada, who is out in uh, Las Vegas, and uh, he's going to share some stuff with you. Uh, you'll feel his enthusiasm through the phone, and I spoke to him about three hours ago, and I was able to record that. So let's go ahead and get started. One of the things I want to talk to you about before we get going is our client training. Uh, we've got two more of these left, August the 20th and August the 27th at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, and they are live. Uh, I highly recommend that you bring in your clients that you're working with, those that are on the fence, those that are, are off the fence, those that you would like to share this program with. Maybe you don't have know how to close them or you need help closing them. Uh, this is a totally generic training session. Uh, App Wizard is not mentioned. Prices are not mentioned. Uh, we go through the uh, OneTap.Mobi site to do all the training. Uh, we go through the marketing platform and how to use that. So. Uh, Take advantage of this. We've got two more sessions left, and uh, I probably will not do these in September as we finish up all the videos and all the things that we're doing uh, for the uh, control panel. So please take advantage of that. Uh, we will we'll make these available in download form for you to show to your clients. We are going to do some custom video stuff for you guys uh, as soon as we get everything lined out here, and you'll be able to download these in MP4 format so that you can put them on your computer so you don't have to uh, uh, have a co computer connection uh, or a Wi-Fi connection or anything else when you go in and do this. So, but make sure you sign up for these. I'll be sending uh, uh, Mondays out uh, probably tonight. Uh, the video from uh, this past Monday is already up, so take a look at that. It's in the uh, video section. I want to share with you a email that I received earlier today. And I talk about these guys that I have an opportunity that I'm blessed to be a part of this group that is, that is called the App Wizard, Instant App Wizard. And this is from David Brown in the Netherlands and he says, Hi Kerry, if you see this before tonight's training webinar, would you please give a big shout out to the support, especially Mark. Mark is our programmer and he's, uh, he's absolutely phenomenal. I mean, when, when Woodrow asks if something can be done, he never says no. When you guys ask if something can be done, he never says no. He says, I saw a couple of issues with the plain text that used to, to appear in certain fields. Quite simply, it looked terrible if you used a dark background color, which I wanted to match that of a client. I submitted a ticket through the support desk, and I let me reiterate that, through the support desk, and I highly recommend that you use the support desk when, when trying to communicate. And not only received an answer within a couple of hours, but also Mark had fixed a big portion of the problem. He asked if I would look through the site to see if everything was good and to notify him if not. I contacted him again in the weekend with one final issue and he replied on Sunday to state he had totally fixed the problem. Dude needs to get some sleep and I don't think Mark ever sleeps. But Of course I thank Mark and the rest of the team for the excellent service but would really appreciate it if you could just state to all the other resellers out there how excellent the service and communication is. It is really is second to none. Unfortunately, I can't make it to, uh, to the training tonight. It's 3.30 a.m. and his 3 o'clock a.m. his time for me, but we'll definitely watch the replay. Again, a big thank you to yourself for your amazing presentations, video, and help, and to Mark and all the support staff for their hard work and determination. David Brown from the Netherlands. Uh, David, I really appreciate that, and I wanted to make sure I got that on here tonight so that you know that I passed that on because I know you'll be watching the replay. We're going to start off with a call from Roger because I don't want to break the uh, training tonight. I want to start off with this call from Roger Panada. Uh, I think you're going to be excited. You can see from the sign there that uh, even Las Vegas welcomed him. He's uh, right there ready and willing to roll. So give me just one second here and I'm going to start the call and uh, I think you'll enjoy this. Roger's out in Las Vegas right now, and I well understand he has planned to hit the jackpot. He's joined a, a big conference out there and, and just walking around selling apps right and left. How you doing, Roger Panada? Hey, I'm doing fine. Uh, I just hope you can hear me. I'm in the middle of a big convention down here at the ASD Gift Show Convention, and uh, I had 
got a client that uh, I signed up on uh, Thursday. We finished his app on Friday and got it all done with his codes and everything. And uh, I saw him here this morning because I've been at the show for a couple of days, but I wanted to see how he was doing. He's had a lot of people scan his codes. And because of us, he had 200 people from Facebook answer him back because of our information. Is that oh, incredible? That is killer, buddy. That, that is, is incredible. What you're doing down there, man? Tell us what's going on. About, tell us about the conference and how you're reaching out and touching people and, and making things happen. Well, uh, basically, I, I am closing my deals and my and the ones on the process, my deals that are closed and the ones we're going to close here in the next few days. I have about 22 apps on my phone, and I walk up to a vendor, and I say, hey, I like your stuff, and they say, oh, fine, and they see my badge, and they say, what do you do? And I said, well, I do uh, mobile apps for the vendors here. What? Oh, I need one of those. I was thinking of getting one. I said, you don't even have any codes here. And uh, I have my phone in my hand. I hit a button. I show them what they got, and these people go crazy for it. Uh, so far out of this show, uh, we're probably going to write probably 12 to 13 accounts here in the next two days. That is absolutely amazing. Go take a little trip to Vegas and, and sell apps. Huh? You can't get a better deal than that, can you? Uh, well, not only that, last night we sat by the pool and had a good time because my wife's with me, Meg, she helped me with the business. We went out to nice dinner, we're doing some shopping, and she's getting some great deals here for the show. She's a camper, and uh, she helps me a lot by doing the apps while I'm making the calls. And, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's an amazing business. And once I get uh, 20 or 30 of these folks here, um, I'm going to get the referrals uh, like you can't believe that you will not believe the businesses that are at the show. And I'm just going here and demonstrating what I did. And I, I have one of the customers here. So let me see what I, let me tell you what I did for Jason. And I'll hit his button and these people go nuts. I mean, they, 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 they've been thinking about it. They haven't done it. And we're at the right time at the right point. Uh, there's, I have no competition here. And uh, I ran into a couple people that had codes. I scanned them. And it's nothing but junk. That, that is, well, we're, we definitely have a quality product, that's without question. So what kind of, uh, show are you at? Give, give us a little bit of information of what kind of uh, venue you're at and uh, exactly what the show okay. is about. Well, it's, uh, it's called the ASD Gift Show. And this is where uh, everybody from the world comes to buy their stuff that they're going to sell in their stores to you for triple the price. Uh, you would see the prices here. They're just ridiculous. And uh, so these are all buyers that are here uh, looking for items to sell in their stores or promote. You know, when you go to these gift shops, uh, anything that you see anywhere is bought at this show every year. From uh, Christmas stuff, to Halloween stuff, to neon signs, to toys, uh, 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 crayons, everything. I mean, you name it, it's here from tools to anything that you buy at a store. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna buy it here and sell it to you. So I'm here with all these, um, these vendors who sell to other stores. And guess what? I'm getting those leads to the other stores from these people. So my God, this is just an incredible, uh, business. I am so, we're so excited to be part of the program, uh, that, uh, I am really glad that, uh, we hooked up because, uh, we have a great company. And uh, if you think we're fired up, it's great. Now, I do want to say this. One of the most important things that's bringing me in the business, and I think a lot of the salespeople miss it, and that's follow-up. Follow-up, follow-up, follow-up. Uh, I had a client uh, uh, with steel doors for the kid that he puts on doors and gates. Well, he, I called him. I gave him a demo, and he said, Roger, he goes, I'm not really, you know, this is going to work for me. I don't want to buy it right now, but I'll call you. But I followed up with him, and I said, okay. I said, Mike, uh, when you're ready, give me the information. Uh, you're going to see a lot of people calling you, and uh, you're going to see that they can't shine our shoes. And he laughed. Well, on the way to Vegas uh, yesterday, guess what? I got a phone call, and it was Mike. He goes, Roger, uh, get down here. I want, I want to implement your program. And either two things happened. He really thought he needed it, or my competition went in there and showed them what they had, and and he compared, and he says, there's, uh, uh, there's only one way to go, and that's with Roger. And you've got to understand, you've got to build a relationship with these people. And when 
he told me, uh, Roger, I don't want, I'm, I, I'm not interested. Uh, I said, hey, give me a call. I'd love to earn your business. And I got the call. So follow-up is very, very important. And another thing I want to say, uh, Carrie, is uh, there is so much business. I mean, this is just incredible. Are you finding that the one in five is probably uh, probably too wide a spread? It's probably about three in five that are looking for mobile web apps, huh? Oh, I would say, uh, I mean, I brought flyers and I ran out of flyers, and yet people, I was still showing my app and uh, within the bot, uh, I would say uh, 40 minutes, I had 15 demo apps to make. Wow. And what I said, and here's another thing that's very powerful that I'm using that's really making a difference. When people see me show somebody else's app, they get excited. But when I send them a demo app of their business and what I can do for them and they see their logo and they see some of their information on there, uh, it, it's almost a done deal. So you're building and a if demo you think, right there on the spot, showing the customers, sending them their text so that they can open it on their phone, and uh, pretty much just following the program right down the line and, and it works just fine for you. Oh, it, it's working perfect. I have a guy named Alex here. Um, they got so great deal. I bought a little wallet for like seven bucks and only sells for ninety bucks. And um, I started talking to him, and I just said, "Hey, do you have a mobile app?" He goes, "No, but I've been thinking to get one. I don't know where to go." Boom! Uh, I've been written up by uh, Friday, and his app ready to go because he's going to use it in the show in New York. Wow! And, and, and these are sincere people. They're looking for ways to market their program. Uh, and here's another thing. Uh, uh, some of these, uh, uh, like Jason, who has my program, um, he said people were coming up to his booth and scanning his codes. He said, this is unbelievable, Roger. And I, that's one of the sales things I'm telling you. Can you imagine uh, here uh, people walk out with, uh, uh, 200 people walk out of the show with their app on their phones? I said, oh, wow. people come in here and they get business cards. All of a sudden, I took out like 20 business cards I had in my shirt. I said, see these business cards? I said, you could be one of them, and how am I going to remember you? I'll probably never, ever get to you. But if, guess what? If I, if I had your information on my phone, it's prime real estate. And he goes, yeah, you're absolutely right. Now, when I get home, I got an, uh, I did another follow-up with, a, with the, one of the biggest restaurant bars by my house, and I went in to see him when I first got in. And uh, I stopped by on Thursday. Oh, no, I stopped by on Monday before we came out here. I went in and said, hey, Jake, I just wanted to follow up with you. Here's a demo of what I did for you. He goes, oh, Roger, we've been so busy. We love the amp. I go in on Friday to do him. At 1.30, I got another one to sign up. Monday, I got two people to sign up on Monday that are not even from the show. And all I'm doing is following up. People say, I want to think about it. Go ahead, think about it. I'm no nice about it. If I could be a service, I'd be glad to help you, and I'm getting phone calls. Well, customer service is always the key because they know if you're going to take your time to follow up and the customer service is good up front, they know it's going to be good forever, and you're right. Following up. And, and, it's like, it, it, and it also, it's like this Mike guy, the guy with the gate. If he would have said no to me and said, well, okay, thank you, and leave, instead of saying that, I said, hey, Mike, I'd love to earn your business. In the future, if, uh, if I could be a service, I'd love to do business with you. And I left it at a very warm uh, exit. But guess what? He called me on the way to Vegas. That's incredible. So anyway, I'm here at the show. I hope you can hear me okay. There's a lot of people here. Uh, but it's exciting. Uh, people are looking for it. And um, we got such a great program. And the things you guys are doing, I mean, uh, you keep up the good work. It just makes it so much easier for me to uh, build my business, make money, and build a residual income. I'm so excited. There you go. That, that's what it's all about. Roger, I, I, I want to let you get back to work, man. I, I was so excited to get to speak to you today. And when I heard you was in Vegas at that show, I just knew you was tearing it up. And, and I knew, and for sure, you didn't let me down. And uh, Well, here's another thing I want to say. You were on the call uh, a few weeks ago, and you said, hey, you've got to go out there and make the presentation. So what I'm doing every day, I'm going out for five hours a day. I leave my house about 9, 9.30, don't get back until about 3, and every day I'm coming back with 3 or 4 uh, demo apps that I have to make, and I'm telling you, it, it, it's backing me up, my schedule's full for the next 3 days, and that's because I'm out there and showing people, and people say no doesn't mean uh, it's a no, a lot of times people say no because they want to think about it, they want to make a decision.
shoes on the spot, but I am telling you, uh, what we have, nobody can do what we do, and I'm very proud to be part of the company. That's great, Roger. Well, man, I, I hope you and your wife have an absolute awesome time out there. How many more days are you going to be spending there in Vegas? Oh, well, I got to leave tonight because I got to go sign up Mike tomorrow morning. Then I got uh, two to write up on Friday. I got oh, and two on Monday. And then Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to two big shows in Arizona to do more vendors and uh, see what I can get. Uh, our goal is to make a lot of money with this company. And if you think we're excited, we are excited. We're not sleeping anymore because it works and we're making money. That's wonderful, buddy. Well, you, you tell me, uh, we said hello and uh, you guys have a great time. And just keep doing what you're doing because exactly what you're doing works. And uh, I always say, man, nothing works better than show and tell. And uh, That's true. And listen, thanks for all the good work you do. Your trainings are very, very helpful. Well, thank you, Roger. Thank you. Well, you guys have a great, great day, and uh, okay. have a good evening, and, and we look forward to talking to you when you get done out there. Okay, bye. -bye. So if you have any shows that you can go to, I highly recommend that you go to a couple. I'll tell you a quick story before we move on. About 20 minutes after I got off the phone with Roger, he called me back, and uh, he said, you're not going to believe this. I got on the elevator, and he carries a Samsung Note, which is a pretty big phone. And uh, a guy asked him about his phone and said, what, what, are you, what is that kind of phone is that? And he told him what kind of phone it was. He asked him what he did, started talking to him about the mobile apps on the elevator on the way up, uh, showed him some demos on the way up and uh, wrote up a deal on the way up to his room. So uh, these shows obviously work. Uh, I highly recommend uh, take some of these ideas that you hear on these calls and put them to use. Uh, if you find any of those kind of shows in your area, or do like Roger, take a vacation to Vegas and go to a show and uh, make some money. But I greatly appreciate Roger and for him taking his time to come out and do this. Well, let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to talk about the reputation checker. Now we went through the reputation checker last week and we're going to go into it again because I want to show you how this reputation checker ties into the reputation management system. And if you've not been in your control panel in the last 24 hours, I highly recommend when we close off the training tonight that you go into your control panel and you start messing with, playing with, whatever you want to call it, uh, your reputation management system and start looking at that and start getting used to doing it. Go in and start uh, playing with the reputation checker. You're not going to mess anything up, okay? Don't ever think you're going to go in and, oh, no, I can't touch that because I'm going to mess something up. You will not mess anything up, and uh, you need to go in. You need to work with it. You need to figure it out. You need to learn how to do it. You need to watch the video trainings on it, uh, and that way you need to rewatch this video that we're doing tonight. I've got the recording on so that you understand this program and this product. There's nothing else out there like it that's tied to the platform like we've got it tied to the platform. So let's look at the reputation checker, and we're just going to go through it. We went through it last week and uh, show you how it works. First off, the reputation checker is in your reseller resource center. Okay, So you want to go into your control panel, you want to go to your reseller resource center, and you can see the reputation checker right below the famous Foursquare lead generation tool, which I hope everyone is using because it works extremely well. So let's just go into the reputation checker here. Now you want to put in your keywords, whatever your keywords are going to be, plumber, uh, doctor, restaurant, pizza, whatever that's going to be. Okay, And you're going to want to put in the location. Now when you put in the location, you need to do it just like this. Okay, uh, For example here, Tampa, comma, Florida, period. Okay, uh, If you're in another country, and we have some several people in here from all over the world, uh, We've grown worldwide very quickly. And uh, so you want to put it in like London, UK, or Perth, Australia, AU. So you want to be able to do that. But in this instance, you can see here I put in plumber, Dallas, Texas, 25 miles. I searched Google Places, and I also searched Yelp. Okay. Now right here, the first thing that pulled up is the Better Business Bureau of Dallas. Um, then right underneath that, Ernie's Plumbing, Mr. Reuter Plumbing, Metro Flow Inc., Levy and Son, 
Baker Brothers. Let me tell you something real quick about Baker Brothers. They've only got two stars. Baker Brothers probably spends $100,000 a week in television advertisement. Do you not think that they need help with their reputation management? Absolutely, because all the money that they're spending, they're doing something totally wrong with the, with the remarks that they're getting. They'll only be rated at a two. But let's go in here and look at Ernie's Plumbing real quick. You can see here that uh, he's showing up in Yelp. Okay, all of these right here are showing up in Yelp. Better Business Bureau of Metro Dallas showing up in Google places. So let's go in and take a look at Ernie's Plumbing. Now I want you to get extremely familiar with these pages. You need to know these pages like the back of your hand. When you go in and you look at these pages, and if you need to practice this, I recommend you practice it tonight while we're talking about it. Go in and learn how to print this entire page off. You want to take this entire page because you want to be able to show them exactly what other people are seeing. You want them to be able to see exactly what you're talking about, where you're talking about it, and how the system works. So old Ernie up here, old Ernie's got one mark. Now you can see oh, Ernie's got just one review, but this review is really bad, okay? Now Ernie's got his website right here, and I showed you guys last week in the uh, Resource Center where you can go in and you can download the Opera emulator so that you can see on the spot if Ernie's website is mobile ready. That's extremely important that you have everything in a row that you have your process together before you ever walk in and talk to Ernie. So here we have it. We have Ernie's address. So you can already start mapping out where you're going the next day. And I recommend that you do this the night before. Okay? And you map out your day. You've got his uh, all of his information here. You've got his uh, web address. You've got his phone number. And down here you've got Ernie's review. Now know what Ernie's review says before you walk in. And this is how I would do this. I would walk in and I would ask, is Ernie available? And they're going to say, may I ask who's calling? Well, I just wanted to talk to him about this negative review that I saw on Yelp. Let me tell you, whoever you're speaking to will probably drop over their desk to go get Ernie or to go get the manager or whoever is there to be able to see what you're talking about. I know if someone walked into my business and they said, hey, uh, I want to speak to Kerry because he's got some bad reviews out there. Okay, So right here you can see that Ernie's got a bad review. Know what it says. Have the sheet in your hand. See if his website is mobile app ready. Okay, If not, you're going to have to show him that. You're going to show him the whole package. But what you're going to do is, is you're going to take this information and you're going to start building on what? The reputation management system. You're going to show him how to completely turn his business around, getting great marks in, in these uh, social sites like Yelp, Google Places, Foursquare, how, City Search, how to get everything built and ready to go. It's extremely important. Let me say this again. Make sure make sure you print out the entire page okay now once you've got that information now it's time to go into the reputation management system so that you understand you need to go in tonight when you get off of this call and you need to start playing with the reputation management system the reputation checker is extremely simple to use what you're doing with the reputation checker is is you're building up your lead system for tomorrow. You can also bounce it off against what? Your Foursquare lead generation tool. So you're able to go in and you're able to get all this stuff together and you're able to build your lead system for tomorrow. You've got all your tools in place. You've got your reputation checker, uh, your uh, reviews all printed out, everything ready to go, and you're able to walk in and speak intelligently about what you're going to talk about. And that's extremely important. Now you're ready to go out and sell. Okay? 
you've got your leads down, you've got your map drawn out, you've gone on uh, uh, Google Maps and you've mapped everything out, you've printed out all your directions everywhere you want to go, and the morning has come. You're going to go out and you're going to start talking to these folks. The first thing you're going to do is, hey, Ernie, I really need to show you what people are saying about you. And you're going to share that with him. Okay. Once you finish sharing that with him, what are you going to do now? You're going to let Ernie know that you have a program in place that can fix his problem. Not only fix his problem, but turn everything around where when people go in and review these uh, comments in these other systems, they're going to be able to say, man, we've got to use Ernie. Ernie may not even know he has a problem to begin with. You want to make sure that you point this out, and now you can go in with the reputation management system and start working with Ernie. Let me say this right up front, okay? I personally believe if you're not using texting with the entire platform, if you don't sell texting to every one of your customers, you are shortchanging them because that is a part of the five-pronged approach that we teach you guys. So everybody you go out to, you have to make sure that they're on the texting system. With the reputation management system, you cannot effectively use this system without texting enabled. The reason for that is the whole purpose of a reputation management system is rapid response. Okay, As a manager, I want to be able to get the information that someone is sending out immediately. Okay, and through our reputation management system, the customers can literally sit there in their establishment and rate them, and they're going to be able to see what their customers are saying about them. If they do not have texting, they may not see it in time. Emails may get lost. They may not check their email until later that evening. So let me say this again. First off, let me say let me say what I said first. If you're not selling texting with every single app, you're shortchanging your clients. Period. With the reputation management system, you cannot effectively use this system without texting enabled. So with that said, don't even go out and try to sell it unless you're going to make sure that texting is enabled because you're going to cheat your customer from being able to use this system to its absolute fullest potential. And now that I've beat that dead horse, let me move on. I've put this in here. This was written by uh, our, one of our developers. And I want to make sure that I go through each one of these slides and go through this system with you. This is the system that you will present to your clients. Okay? And this is what you need to say to them. I'm going to be posting this. Uh, I'll get with uh, Woodrow afterwards and see if it's ready to be, be sent out to you guys uh, so that you can start using it, so that you can start studying it, and uh, that way you'll be able to get the language down. That's the most important thing is getting the language down so you don't stumble over yourselves and you're actually able to present this to your clients. Consumers today are given an open platform to post their opinions and reviews about you and your business on a variety of websites. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to set this up just like I'm talking to the customer. How about that? Jim, I just want you to know that I've, I've shared with you this reputation that you have on the Internet. And, and frankly, Jim, it's not very good right now. But Jim, what I'd like to do is help you turn that around. I have a program, a reputation management program, that I can literally take your business and start turning it around so that all the good reviews are going out and you're able to see the things that are coming against you, the bad reviews, immediately so that you can fix your problems. Jim, consumers today are given an open platform to post their opinions and reviews about you and your business on a variety of websites. With social sites such as Facebook and Yelp, Google Places, City Search, their reviews and rumors have the potential to go viral. And trust me, guys, they go viral quickly. It only takes one disgruntled customer's review to damage a company's reputation online. And Ernie, I know for a fact that you've built your business, you've been in business since 1978. And you don't want one bad review to ruin your reputation, even if you don't have a website 
or a blog or any other type of web presence, your customers are very internet savvy. And if something's been said about you or your business, somebody will find it online. The internet is one of the first places people turn prior to making a purchasing decision. Ernie, the, the, the rate of the mobile web app industry, the, the smartphone industry, the, the, how fast it's growing is changing the way people do business. They can find out about your business at the click of a button. They're conducting a search to read what others have to say about your business and what kind of reputation you have. Before conducting business with you, they want to know how you treated others, did you provide quality service, or your products top notch, and did you honor your guarantee? And Ernie, you can see by the post that's already out there, there is a disgruntled customer that's not been contacted and or shared with whatever their issue was. Ernie, if something negative has been said about you or your business, it has a major influence on the purchasing decision of the prospective client. And Ernie, you and I both know that today's industry, we cannot afford to lose a customer. That's the difference in keeping the door open or shutting the doors forever. This is a self-preservation. Self-preservation because it allows you to maintain and market to every client to make sure there is zero problems because they don't want to have the same thing happen to them. They'll direct their business somewhere else. There's no single way to control what people post on the internet. And once a business has been dubbed with a bad reputation, it's very difficult to overcome. Therefore, business owners need to be proactive in protecting their reputation on the web. Let me stop on this frame right here and just share a quick story with you. It's very common in uh, Dallas, where I live, for there to be a company on the news whose reputation has been destroyed by competitors and they never ever knew it. They go on to Yelp, they go on to Facebook, they go on to Foursquare, they go on to City Search, they go on to all these different places and post negative things and they don't ever know it and they don't understand why their, uh, their business just crashed. With this reputation management system we have single-handedly changed that. Reputation management can help protect your online reputation from the crippling effects of a negative review. And Ernie, simply ignoring a bad review could have an adverse effect on your business. And I know, Ernie, that you do not want that to happen. As the negative post gains momentum and people become increasingly aware of the bad experience, your customers begin to drop off and your sales start to decline. Ernie, it's extremely important to deal with a negative report quickly to prevent it from getting out of control. Reputation management strategies can easily be put in place to monitor and manage your business's online reputation. There's no need to hire a group of communication specialists to do the work for you. Ernie, I'm here to tell you today that you can take full control of your entire reputation through this system. Even small to medium-sized businesses can follow the guidelines below to protect the good reputation they've spent years building and maintaining offline. And you're going to go through this five steps for their management strategy. I don't know if you guys noticed, but we, we like the number five here. We have our five-pronged approach. Now we have our five reputation management strategies. Ernie, the first thing we need to do, we need to develop a plan. This is a critical first step to manage your online reputation. Determine who is going to handle the reviews and what your plan of action will be if one turns up negative. And guys, ladies, you need to sit down. And before you speak to Ernie or all the Ernies out there, you need to be able to help him outline his plan of attack with this reputation management system. Number two, keep an eye on the Internet. Everybody in that office gets on the Internet every now and then. Everybody needs to go in. They need to Google their company's name. They need to Google their own name. They need, need to Google their wife's name, their kids' names. Anybody associated with that business, they need to Google. And it only takes a couple of minutes to see if anything is popping up in the first 10 or 15 places of Google to see if someone's out there posting something bad. But you want to look for everything that is being said about your business online. Google your business name. Check the online review sites. Make sure your website is listed and the content is updated often. Google alerts. 
sign up for Google Alerts so they can email when your business name has been mentioned online. Okay? You guys need to learn about Google Alerts. I'll do a quick video on Google Alerts. This, this system here also has alerts set up. That's why I'm going to go back to it again. It's extremely important that you set up texting if you're going to take care of the man reputation management system. Communicating with your customers online shows your customers and prospects that you value their opinion. Most of these people that put these comments online, especially if it's a good comment, well, they want their email address on there. They want a way for you to contact them. So they put their information out there. And you need to let your uh, clients know that they need to contact these folks, especially in the system that we've put together. Respond to a negative review in the most positive manner and show your willingness to correct the problem. I've got a friend that's in business. And let me tell you something. When somebody says something about his, his company or one of his guys, he absolutely goes south. In the last 12 months, his business is about 50% of what it used to be because of his attitude towards his customers. I realize that I'm always right. Just kidding. I'm not always right. But we think we're always right. But let me tell you. Whether you're right or wrong, the customer is always right, irregardless of what the situation is. And then keyword ranking. Ensure that your website ranks high in the search engines with appropriate keywords. If you found a negative post, then it's important that your response represents, presents your company in a positive way thereafter. Managing your website, blog posts, videos, and social media responses with current and positive news will help bury a negative re review and push the search in your favor. The great thing about these reputation management platforms and what we've put together here at AppWizard is these will literally help SEO your client's websites. Not only will it help SEO your client's websites, but what is that doing when you've attached your mobile web app to their website and it redirects them automatically to their mobile web app? You are pushing their entire system to the top of Google, and that's extremely important. Diligently performing reputation management strategies like these will help ensure that your business reputation remains unharmed by negative remarks. There are hundreds of internet sites where a review can be found. Reputation management is a smart investment for any business, especially those in the service industry where commentaries often relish criticism causing serious damage. I'm in the construction business. I know exactly what they're talking about when they wrote this piece of uh, literature here. It's extremely important that the service industry, and that's why I pulled up Plumber a while ago. You guys ought to be tell, tearing these service industries up. Um, I, I talked to a guy today, and uh, he's fixing to start selling, oh, what are they called? Car washes. He's going to target car washes. He believes that he can make a fortune target. Number one, they've got the worst reputation in the world. No, number two, they've always got complaints. So, and number three, they can send out coupons every week and drive people into their car wash. So it's a great system. I just want to show you here real quick. This is a restaurant that I actually frequent often. Okay, matter of fact, I eat there probably four days a week, and prob usually uh, twice on Fridays. You can see here they got three stars, good drinks most of the time. Food ranges from bad to pretty good, depending on the time in which you go and cook for the day. My favorites are the zucchini, which is really fresh and good. The turkey ranch sandwich, down home spud, and Lone Star taters are good. Service can vary from okay to really poor. Now, I'm going to tell you, and, and I'm going to be speaking to the owner of this, this restaurant tomorrow. I found this tonight going through the reputation management system. And when I saw that, I was absolutely stunned because they've got excellent service. Their food is out of this world, but they've got some bad marks out here, okay? Uh, like this guy here. I'm a first-time visitor to Commerce, and I'm comparing this food in the cities, not, not other restaurants in Commerce. The atmosphere in the place is nice, family grill with a tasty rustic theme, service is good and prompt, and that's very true. The food was pretty mediocre, though, okay? I ordered chicken and artichoke pasta. Do you see where I'm going here? Your clients do not know that this information is out there. They absolutely do not know that it's there. I'm going to tell you, Dave does not know that this information is out there. He will tomorrow because I'm going to talk to him about it. But 
this is extremely important that you're able to take this information, print it out, and go and speak to these owners about this. Now let's go in and let's start looking at the reputation management system. The reputation management system, and remember this, is set up individually on every single app. Okay? Every single app has to be set up with the reputation management system. Now, I'm going to say it again because I want to make sure that there's no questions about this. You make sure that you set up texting with every single app in order for this system to work correctly. Let's go into the reputation management system here. Now you can see here that we've got Foursquare, Yelp, and Google Places set up. The three top reputation social sites on the internet. Okay? The three top social reputation sites on the internet. So what you'll do is, is you're going to go in and you're going to set each one of these up. And I'm going to show you here through Foursquare how I did that. First off, you're going to click on whichever social media information you want to click on. And you're going to put in the business name and the city and state just like this. Okay? Then you're going to click search now. And it will pull up results. Now, mine just happens to be, now this is my company right here, okay? Mine just happens to be the only company in, in my area that's called this. So you want to make sure that uh, you click on that, okay? And now you've populated, and then you can see I've gone through here, I've populated my Foursquare, I've populated my Yelp. I've populated my Google Places. Now, I want to be able to enable, okay, my rating system on my web app. Uh, Woodrow just said, and, and or you can put the zip code, city, state, and, and zip code, and or zip code, okay? So, you, you want to enable that in order for this to come up on your web app, okay? This is extremely important. Make sure that your customers, your clients are enabling this rating system on their web app. And I'm going to show you why here in just a minute. Right here it says radar service. Okay, if I did not turn that on, that would not come up there. And they're able to rate your service right there. Okay, notification settings. This is probably the most important button on here. Because if you don't set up the notification settings, no one's going to get notified. Now you can see here, you can send the report to four different, I mean, I'm sorry, three different phone numbers and three different emails. You want to send it to the owners and the managers and the assistant managers. Whoever you sit down with, you need to explain to, to them and ask them who they want this information to go to. Me personally, I want it to come to me and I want it to come go to uh, uh my, ma my managers or my assistant managers or my production managers, you know, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to figure out exactly who I want to see this because I want the people to see it that can react the quickest to take care of any problems. So you just put your information in there and click save now, okay? Now this is the cool thing. When you're building your app, this automatically populates. You guys see me go in and populate these all the time during my demonstrations. This will automatically populate your Google, if they've got Google, your Yelp, uh, and your Foursquare. Okay, automatically populates it. Just click Save, and you can see that it automatically populates those right here on your app. Great, great tool. Plus the time savings. The time savings. So let's go in here. You can see here that we've got radar service. And when you're sharing this with your clients, you want to make sure that they're able to train, even if you have to go train them yourselves, everyone that comes in contact with that client's customers. Because they, you want them to be able to say, hey, we'd really appreciate it if you could rate us today. Okay? And we're going to have some uh, special table tents that are going to be set up, thumbs up, thumbs down, that they can scan the QR code with. Okay, we're going to have those tools that you're going to be able to use, but you want to make sure that while they're sitting there and it's either really good or really bad, 
that they're going to be able to set up that reputation management system right then and use that, allow their customers to use it so that they can get their business rated. Why do they want it rated? If it's good, it's going to, it's going to hit the web and it's going to help them with their SEO. It's going to help drive their website up. Plus, when customers go in and looking, looking at that restaurant or that beauty salon or that tanning salon or whatever you're selling to, they're going to be able to see all the good remarks. Now when they click on rate us, they're going to get a thumbs up and or a thumbs down. Now I've got to give the guys credit for this and they, they, they put this together probably after midnight more than I want to think that they did. They made it extremely simple. It's graphics. People understand it. Hey, I'm going to give, us a th give them a thumbs up or I'm going to give them a thumbs down. Now you can see here that if they gave them a thumbs up, okay, fantastic service and our smoked mushroom burger was the best we ever had. Man, you guys are making me hungry putting these graphics up here. Okay, and then when they hit submit rating, that rating automatically gets emailed out. Okay, thumbs up, great. This was actually one that some, one of my customers did actually. And uh, so, that goes out. It also goes out in text form. Okay, immediately they will see that someone gave them a good rating. And you can see here where they can go in and they can look and they can see all the ratings that they received for the day. These are all good thumbs up ratings. I just went inside to have a look at Google. Amazing. What would I give to work here? Okay. Now your customer, if they give a thumbs up, this is extremely important that you explain this to your clients. Thumbs up goes viral. Thumbs down goes to management. Okay? Thumbs down, the customer does not have the ability to send that out to the social sites. Now they can go home and post it all they want. But from this app, it goes, the thumbs down goes to the management team through the text messages and through the emails. That's extremely important because they have the opportunity to, it, it may be something as simple as there was a piece of hair on the straw that was in the glass of tea, but that ruined the entire evening for the little lady that's sitting there wanting to eat her dinner, okay? And he can fix that by giving her a free meal or whatever he does. But if it's a thumbs up, then they can share it on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, share on Foursquare, share on Yelp. They can literally send it out to everybody and their brother right from that web app. You need to make sure that you educate your clients and you educate their employees on how this system works. Extremely important. A thumbs down. Not even close in any account. Bad service, bad food, never again. I'm going to tell you, I don't know about you, but if you saw that and you read that, would you ever go to that place of business? Absolutely not. You wouldn't, I wouldn't, and neither will anybody else. And the more that people see that, they won't go. But what have we done? We've allowed our system here to help your client. We've allowed this system to be able to uh, take this information and fix it on the spot. How do they do that? Because they're going to receive a text and they're going to receive an email. Now the manager gets the text, he, he gets everything done, and he is able to address the issue right on the spot. And you can see here, this is what the customer gets. Okay, you can, I want you to notice, you don't have your social media buttons right down here. Okay, now this does a couple of things. This tells the customer, hey, we understand, we see what just happened. Okay, our staff has just been informed of your rating and comments. This actually takes, and someone just posted this, and I'm going to read it exactly. It relieves the angst very quickly, and the customer is usually satisfied they have given a review. Okay, they, and, uh, they cannot rate again for 24 hours. So they can't sit there. As a matter of fact, I tried to do it yesterday. I tried to sit there and rate and rate and rate. It locks you out. It says you've already rated this business today. So if I'm sitting there and I'm ticked off, I'm not able to sit there and push the button, push the button, push the button, push the button, and drive this company right into the ground. 
but they've, they've received their, their I'm sorry. If they're still in the establishment, the manager's going to get that text on his phone. Okay? Text. Did you under, I, I want to say that again. The text, Jose. The, he's able to go over to that customer. He's able to take care of everything. If he has to give them a free meal, guess what they're probably going to do next? They're going to give him a thumbs up. Bad news doesn't go viral. Good news hits the web, and that's what you want it to do. You can see here, now, every day at 3, matter of fact, I got this, uh, gosh, man, probably about 3.30 today, I think it was. There's a, there's a message that goes out to every client so that they see what was rated that day, okay? Now, I actually went in today. And I said, great company, do what they say and say what they do, because I wanted to see how it worked. And what it did was is it took this information from Foursquare and from Google Places and sent it to me. I knew exactly what was being said, and people didn't even go through my app. Let me tell you, that is power, power in the palm of a business owner's hands. He's able to see every single day if something happened in his place of business that he didn't know about. And these go out every day. Uh, Woodrow and I were talking today. It starts about 3 o'clock. But let me tell you how this is going to happen. All of you are going to go out and start selling the reputation management system tomorrow. They're, they're sequential. Okay, one text and one email will go out. One text, one email. So if there's 50 of them in there that have changed that day, it may take it 15 or 20 minutes, so it may not be exactly at 3 o'clock. So don't panic if you test it and you haven't received it yet. Okay? Give it 15, 20 minutes because everybody's probably getting theirs about the same time, and it sequentially goes out, and it lines up, and everything is taken care of. When the customer sends a review, how do they determine if it's four square? When a customer sends a review, they have a, the option. Let me go back there. right here. They can share it on Facebook. They can share it on Twitter. They can share it on Google Plus. They can share it on Foursquare. And they can share it on Yelp. They can share it wherever they want to share it. That's the word I was looking for. Thank you. It goes in the queue. <laughs> I'm very fortunate. I usually have Woodrow on here with me on these trainings. And uh, he uses, uh, I always get tickled because he and I talk totally different. Uh, I, I talk Texan, and uh, he speaks proper English. And uh, he's actually an actor. I don't know if he wants me to tell you that, but he speaks very good English, and he uses uh, words that uh, I, I have to dig out of a dictionary. So, But, yeah, the, the text and the emails go in a queue, and they're queued up, and then they go out. So, But you can see what your clients get. This is an extremely powerful system, extremely powerful system. You're able to go in and literally change this customer's business forever. You're able to help drive him up in the search engines. You're able to allow him to use his app for, as a very, very powerful tool. Yes, ma'am. As a matter of fact, Mary, this video right here will be up probably in the morning. It takes it a little bit of time to render, and this will be a great video for you to watch again. Um, but there are other videos that are being processed also. So I'm going to go back real quick. I just want to do a quick review. I know we're, we're getting close to time here, but I want to make sure that everybody understands, and I want to go back to this right here. Radar service. Make sure that your clients understand the power of this system in the web app. Okay? Make sure they understand the power of this system combined with the web app, combined with their marketing platform. Okay? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Self-explanatory. I mean, there's nothing there when, when a, a client's customer looks at that. When you show that to your client, there is no question what his customers are going to do. They're either going to give him a thumbs up or a thumbs down. They give him a good rating, 
okay it can go viral which is extremely important he's also going to get a text message of that he's also going to get an email of that and that's those text that's those uh, phone numbers and emails that you set up in the platform extremely important okay and they get that immediately matter of fact I was doing it yesterday and I no more touched the button and said send and my text messaging went off I mean it was absolute on the second click a button and that text message came in that's extremely powerful when my uh, when my salesman tried it today I saw it immediately I mean I, he called me on the phone got in the car and he said hey did you see did you see me do that and immediately okay it is a it is a rep alert system okay extremely responsive very quick thumbs up okay and this is this is the report that you'll get at three o'clock okay the report you get at three o'clock if it's a good report and I'm 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 gonna tell you and I told my guys this today when I was talking about it if they're on their mobile phone their smartphone their Android or their iPhone and they're doing this in front of you make sure that they post it on their Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus and Foursquare and on, on Yelp. If those buttons are there, just ask them to click them real quick. Okay? Get this thing viral. Okay? Get it viral. Thumbs down. I, I'm going to repeat this again, and, and I don't mean to be, be extremely repetitive, but I want to make sure that everybody understands this system thoroughly. A thumbs down doesn't go viral. It goes to the management immediately okay immediately and what they're able to do is take care of that problem before it gets out it takes 24 hours before that customer can click a button again okay before they can click it again so what's going to happen is is that manager is going to be able to calm them down get everything good and make everything happen and they're going to be happy okay what you may get out of it is a thumbs up tomorrow but you've taken care of the problem and it doesn't go viral they get their little message now me if I'm sitting in a restaurant and I see a reputation management cue card there and I go in and I you guys know how I am with QR codes I'm gonna scan it if it's there I'm gonna scan that QR code and if I give it a thumbs down and all of a sudden I get this right back hey I'm sorry to hear you had a bad experience our staff has just been informed of your rating and comments. You know what I'm probably going to do? I'm probably going to talk to the staff right then when they come to my table. They're going to be able to address that issue immediately. If I'm still there, now they also have the option of putting their uh, phone number in here. Okay? If I get a phone number, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to call them and they're probably still sitting at their table. But I have the option of addressing the issue right on the spot. And being in the service industry, that's extremely important, being able to speak to your customers immediately. Because I'm going to tell you, in the business I'm in, one bad review, somebody gets out there, I'm, I'm losing customers immediately. They get their 3 o'clock reports. Okay, and this was actually my report that came up. Matter of fact, this is my logo. Uh, I forgot I did it on my phone. Uh, this is the report that actually came over my phone. It came across in a text message. I clicked on the link, okay, and this comes up. So I'm able to review immediately. I forgot I did that. I'm able to review immediately exactly what just happened. Okay, I'm going to take just a few questions here. I know it's after 9 o'clock. If you want to uh, stick in just a moment and, and ask a couple of questions, um, I've got Woodrow on the line with me. And... Uh, so if I can't answer it, I'll be able to read it aloud, and he'll be able to help me. Uh, Woodrow just said, clients will pay $50 a month just for the rep management system. There's, I would be willing to bet that some of these uh, resellers that are on here right now will probably go out and sell this for $149 a month. This system, I went online and I looked. There are people charging upwards of $1,500 to $2,000 a month for reputation management uh, control, for reputation management systems. Yeah, Stephen, thank you, buddy. Yeah, what is your reputation worth? That's exactly right. I mean, I know what my reputation's worth. My reputation is worth everything I have because with a bad reputation, I close my business. 
Any more questions here? Let me just ask this, and I don't, I don't mean to, uh, please don't think I would ever uh, speak down because you guys probably know more about what I talk about than I do. It, does everybody understand the system? Was I able to get it across this evening, how to use the system and do the system and, and make the system work for you? Just throw a yes in there. If you say no, I'll ask you yes, yes, and yes, yes. You can go in. <laughs> I love you, too. Uh, somebody was just said their Foursquare and Yelp are not showing up. If, are they in there, Valerie? Are they in the system? You can go in. Guys, now this is another revenue stream, okay? If they're not in Yelp and they're not in Foursquare, you can add them to Yelp and Foursquare. You can go in and physically add them to Yelp and Foursquare. Yes, ma'am. If customer does not share the positive review, would the review just float in Cyberland? Yes, it will just float in Cyberland. <laughs> Steven, you're killing me tonight, buddy. This is what I would do. Okay, Nick just asked a very good question. When you go in, and matter of fact, we're getting ready to update the uh, uh, marketing book that we have you guys use, the business plan for clients. When you go through there, you say, okay, I'm going to charge $25 for this. I'm going to charge $35 for this. I'm going to charge $200 for this. You add everything together at the end. If they want the system, you, you go through and build it for them, and that's how you charge them. Thank you, Glenn. Yes, Bill, uh, they're looking at adding some of the other sites now. It costs $10 to access Force to, to, to uh, sign into Foursquare as a client. Ten bucks. So what you would do, Valerie, is I would go in there and I would charge them uh, forty-nine bucks, like one of the resellers on here does, and he charges them forty-nine dollars a month. Anybody else? I know I've said this before in the past. Uh, Angie's list is a Angie's list. Angie's list is a pay system by the consumer. Uh, that's all I'll say about Angie's List. The consumer pays to get ratings from Angie's List. I'm on Angie's List as a, as a contractor. Yeah, Angie's List is not effective for what we are doing. That is correct. Anybody else? Send responses to text messages. It, it sends responses by text message, yes. Are you talking about when someone goes in and they put in the bad review or a good review? Yes, immediately. Yes, ma'am, immediately. And, and I highly recommend, when, when we get off here tonight, guys, this will blow you away when you go. I mean, I know you saw it here on the screen. This system will absolutely blow you away when you go in and try it out tonight. I said here today, we actually just finished this. Uh, Mark, who uh, the guy from the Netherlands was praising earlier, he literally, me and him were working on this about 2 o'clock today, fixing a couple little things. I mean, this is as fresh as... as uh, a piece of meat going through a slaughterhouse. I mean, this thing just got wrapped up and it's ready to throw on the grill. Yeah, you're right, Valerie. This is a game changer. That you said it best. This is true blued and tested, and it works. All of us have been in here. I've I've played with it all day, and I tell you, it works great. It works absolutely phenomenal. Thank you, Valerie. It is. I think it's the best too. That's why I stick around. No one has a marketing platform in rep management. You know, I'm going to tell you guys, and I, and I say that I even say this on the uh, Tuesdays and Thursday nights. I probably watched in the last three months a hundred plus webinars. There is no one out there that holds a light to what we have. I put a put a, a video a slide up last night. It was a pig with lipstick on it. You guys have probably all all heard that old saying. You can put a lipstick on a pig, but it's still a pig. Uh, it's just what it is, you know. Anybody can sell web apps, but if you do not have people that are getting a, a return on that web app, they're not going. They're going to turn that web app off in two or three months. It's just going to happen. <laughs> Valerie says, "I live in Hawaii. It's still daylight here, and I'm fixing to go out and start showing." There you go, Valerie. That's the spirit. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and shut it down here. It looks like the, the messages, these things fly by so fast, it's hard for me to see them all. Um, but I think we've pretty much got everything. If, if I did not answer your question, I'm going to close with this. Go to our support and ticketed system. 
Thank you, Ray. Hey, good to see you, buddy. I hope you're feeling better. Go to our support system, to our help desk, and submit a ticket, and uh, they will get back to you, I promise. Thank you, Valerie. Uh, so, yeah, just go to your support system, go to support and help, and submit a support ticket. Thank you, Tabitha. Review knowledge base. Yes, knowledge base right here. See all these views? Every, they, uh, there's several people that do this, do the uh, support system, so these questions are asked a lot, to be honest with you. Have a good night, Valerie. Expand to see the review knowledge base. Okay, you go in here, you can see, go in here to the knowledge base. How do I click to expand? Sign up a new affiliate, check my earnings. Let me see here. I missed the training. Is there a replay? How to create an icon? Adding apps and texting. General reseller questions. Yeah, use this, use the knowledge base here. I mean, that a lot of these questions have been asked. Adding apps and texting fees. Submit a ticket. Extremely important. Submit a ticket. All right, guys. We're going to call it a night. It's been a my absolute pleasure to see you this evening. I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday. We had a full house this evening. Go out and make a lot of sales. And if there's anything I can do to help, we're more than happy to help. Uh, just send us some emails, and we'll make sure we train to that. You have everything you need now. There, I can't think of anything else that we can add into this system that can make it any more powerful. And it's very easy to use. God bless everybody. Have a great night. And it was a pleasure being with you in this training session tonight.